Joe Biden has announced his intention to increase the top income tax rate to 39.6% for people who earn above around half a million dollars a year. We take the top tax bracket for the wealthiest 1% of Americans, those making over $400,000 or more, back up to where it was when George W. Bush was president when he started, 39.6%. 39.6% was the top rate before Donald Trump's 2017 tax cuts, which decreased it to its current rate of 37%. But this is far from the most radical proposal. In 2019, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez did an interview where she suggested a top income tax rate of 70%. But once you get to like the tippy tops, uh, on your 10 millionth dollar, uh, sometimes you see tax rates as high as 60 or 70 percent. Other Democrats have also suggested higher taxes on the rich, like Bernie Sanders, who suggested a new 52 percent top income tax rate. But before discussing tax rates, you need to understand one concept. Marginal tax rates. These are the 2021 federal income tax brackets for single filers. Say for example, you earn $50,000 of taxable income. This would put you in the 22% tax bracket. You would reasonably think that this would mean you pay 22% of your $50,000. But this is wrong. Here's how you should actually think of it. You start by putting your first $9,950 in the 10% bracket, and it gets taxed at 10% so $995. Then you put your next money in until you have filled up the 12% bracket and it gets taxed at that rate, meaning another $3,669. Then you put your last money in the 22% bracket and it gets taxed at 22%. That is $2,084.5. Then you add these three numbers together and that is how much you owe in taxes. So marginal tax rates mean that only the money within a bracket is taxed at the rate of the bracket. Let's take another example where you earn $500,000 of taxable income. Again, you fill in the tax brackets just like you did before. And the money is again taxed at the rate of the bracket it is in. Your final tax bill then ends up at around $150,000. Now say Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez proposed 70% top income tax rate of anything above $10 million is implemented and you earn $11 million in taxable income. Again, you fill in the tax brackets and the last million goes in the 70% bracket. The money then gets taxed at the rate of its bracket. So, it's actually only the last million dollars that gets taxed at 70%. This would put your final tax bill at around $4,364,000. Even though you earn $11 million in this scenario, you aren't actually paying 70% of your income to the government. You only pay about 40%. So when a politician suggests a higher top tax rate, just remember that tax rates aren't always what they seem. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you another time.